Welcome to the second video update for REFINE, which is a five-year European Union project focused on a positive direct contribution to the energy transition, reducing the carbon footprint of the Shell Rhineland refinery by using green hydrogen in the refining processes. REFINE is building the world's largest proton exchange membrane electrolyzer with a capacity of 10 megawatts, a first-time application at industrial scale, and contributing to grid stability by offering primary and secondary grid balancing, as well as expansion into mobility applications. REFINE formally started in January 2018, and in the initial two years, Shell and ITM Power have worked extensively on the new and unique designs and the permitting of the plant, which enabled construction to start mid-2019. The first-of-kind designs required for this project included not only new designs for an electrolyzer at this scale, but also a purpose-built building in an industrial environment. The design of the electrolyzer package followed a three-stage process, each of which required the approval of Shell technical experts, following a comprehensive and detailed check and review process. ITM Power designed an electrolyzer module which is capable of accepting up to two megawatts of electrical power. Each module is made up of three PEM electrolyzer stacks and is able to produce hydrogen up to 20 bar pressure. There are five of these modules working together in order to offer the 10 megawatt capacity which is required in the REFINE project. Many suppliers from across Europe have been used, ensuring REFINE draws on European expertise and services. Once the designs were approved, work could start on the permitting process. The process and plant designs were required for the permit application document pack. The groundbreaking ceremony was held at the Vesseling Refinery on the 25th of June and marked a major milestone in the project implementation. Once the construction permit was granted, the construction work could be started in mid-2019. The area located in the middle of the refinery on the Vesseling site was cleared. The construction started with laying the foundation plate, installing two large cranes before the building could be erected. Over time, the shape of the building could be seen reflecting the layout designs. So far in the construction, more than 25,000 hours were spent with more than 2,500 tonnes of concrete and more than 110 tonnes of steel reinforcements. Shell are on target for our goal zero aim with no HSE incidents. The components were delivered and stored in a tent next to the construction site at the refinery. In parallel, ITM Power manufactured the stacks and ordered all the components to support the electrolyzer. REFINE has been very important to ITM Power, allowing standardization of the electrolyzer offering, where it can be modularized while still offering a flexible capacity to the market, and assist in meeting the 100 megawatt scale ambitions, for which the REFINE project is a springboard. Altogether, 15 stacks have been built and have successfully passed pre-testing. Unfortunately, COVID-19 has had an impact on the supply chain and in turn manufacturing. However, progress remains strong and construction work on site could continue with the final installation of the stack modules due to take place in the first quarter of 2021. Despite COVID-19, Shell could host a high caliber visit. Such visits allow for discussions on regulatory needs to enable future similar and larger projects as they do not yet deliver a positive business case. Further experience is required at a large scale to enable EU targets to be met, with clarity also required for a clear, practical definition of green hydrogen from renewable power used in a 24-7 refinery environment. Green hydrogen to be fully eligible in RED2, similar to biofuels, and green hydrogen to be exempted from fiscal burdens. The project partners look forward to the start-up of operations in 2021. In the meantime, to find out more about the Refine project, please visit the website.